If you were assigned something in Google Classroom and you're accessing it on an iPad, there are some certain steps that you have to do in order to edit that file. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to first go into classwork at the bottom and I'm going to notice that I have a hyperdoc example here. This is my assignment that I'm going to use. When I tap on hyperdoc example at the bottom here, I'm going to tap on the arrow above to access the file. You can now see right here is the Google Doc that I will be editing of. Notice how it has my name in front, student1. That means it's going to be forcing a copy to my account. Here's the problem. When I click on that, it brings it up, but it does not allow me to type in this. This is also true with Google Slides or any other Google app that you may be using. In order, I can obviously, I can click on that little pencil and I can edit, we have, that's called a markup. But if I want to actually type in this and edit this and be able to click around on this and open this in a Google Doc, up here in the top right corner, there's a little box with a diagonal arrow pointing out of it. When I tap on that box, it's going to open this up into Google Docs. Now I'm going to have full access of that. Okay, so now at the bottom of my screen, here right now I can kind of scroll around and see the different spots of this. However, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a blue pencil. When I tap on that blue pencil, I'm now going to be able to go in and start editing. Okay, and now I can actually go ahead and I can click on different things. I can open that link. If I want to watch that video, I can click on open link on all the different buttons that are available here. I can go into here, again, open link, and then um, go down here and start typing in the questions. All right. So when I'm done with that, in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to see a blue check mark. I tap on the blue check mark. That means it's now saved. I double click my home button and go back in to Google Classroom. All I do then is select that turn in button and I'm going to turn it in. And now I have completed my assignment and submitted it to the teacher.